Sight for a Dutch. Hey everybody, welcome back to your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. I got an email request for a video about my favorite Pennsylvania Dutch idioms. Uh, and I thought, boy, that's a great one because we do have some, our language is colorful and we do have some really great idioms, some idiomatic phrases. Um, so I picked out, uh, how many did I pick out? I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I picked out five. Are these my absolute favorites? I don't know, but five of them, I, I use these and I think they're very um, descriptive of us as a people. So let's jump right into them. Five of my favorite idioms in Pennsylvania Dutch. So we'll start with this first one, of course, hearkening to our agricultural background. And it is, Wan ma grumbiera blanst, grekt ma grumbiera. Wan ma grumbiera blanst, grekt ma grumbiera. Translation, if you plant potatoes, you get potatoes. Um, you know, you get out of something what you put into it. Or you could also think of it along the lines of, Whatever you do, you know, whatever you put into it, that's what you're going to get. Um, if you plant potatoes, you're going to get potatoes, right? Don't try and do something thinking something else is going to come out of it, um, because it probably won't. So, one macrumbiera blanst, grik macrumbiera. Next one is one that my, my dad says all the time. And I don't know if it's so much of an idiomatic phrase as it is just something that the Pennsylvania Dutch believe in. Zwetmol, uh, dritzig. Sweat mall, dritzig, uh, translates into two times than three, uh, meaning that if something happens twice, it's going to happen a third time. Uh, most of you are familiar with how superstitious the Pennsylvania Dutch people can be. Um, this is one that speaks to that. Sweat mall, sweat mall, dritzig. Boy, I've, that's one that I, I was raised on. If it happens twice, it's going to happen thrice, essentially. This next one uh, is one that I didn't necessarily grow up with, but a, a friend sent it to me not too long ago, and, and uh, I thought it was funny. Um, the phrase is, A frest we en shia dresha. A frest we en shia dresha, which translates into he eats like a barn thresher. So this would be, you could use when someone's really eating like, you know, eating like a pig, because if, if you're not familiar, a thresher, uh, is a machine on the farm that would separate the wheat from the shaft, and it's constantly you're constantly feeding it, and you know you're feeding the, the 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 whatever it is that you're threshing into the machine. It's constantly moving. It's dirty. It's dusty. Um, so I thought that was a. It's very visual. I really like that phrase a lot. A frest wie ein Shia Um, you know we have this phrase in English. He eats like a pig, but he eats like a barn thrasher. Thresher. Another one that's pretty uh, common. Du kannst mich net verkaufen. Du kannst mich net verkaufen. Which translates into you can't sell me. But what it really means is it has the meaning of like, you can't you can't pull one over on me or you can't trick me. Um, du kannst mich net verkaufen. You can't sell me. It's a good phrase. I like that one. And then finally the last one, which is probably the one that maybe you've heard the most because it's common among us. We'll say something is so deutsch wie sauerkraut. So Dutch we sauerkraut, which literally means as Dutch as sauerkraut. So if something's really, you know, uh, Dutch, you'd say, oh, so so Dutch we sauerkraut. Or when referencing something else, you know, you could say, well, it's as Dutch as sauerkraut, because sauerkraut doesn't get any more Dutch for sure, and and uh, and vice versa. Dutch doesn't get any more than sauerkraut, right? So there are just five quick idiomatic phrases that you can start using. Um, they're great ones to pass on, or you know, the, the right situation might come along where one of those is just the right thing to say, and that's the beauty of an idiomatic phrase. So some Pennsylvania Dutch for you today. Practice those idiomatic phrases. Um, use them as much as you can. Keep sending me ideas for future videos. I'll gladly put them together. Uh, emails at the end. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so. And until next time, keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch. And Mox Goot. Mox Goot.